Hey there all you YouTubers, this is Tonio with Tonio's Reviews and today I'm going to do a do-it-yourself water feature. I'm going to head down to the hardware store and hopefully get everything that I need and we've got a uh, courtyard my wife's got a bunch of roses and stuff in there and we'd like to sit out in the chairs and just it's peaceful I thought you know what I bet a water feature would do wonders for this so let's uh, go to the hardware store and I'll send you little updates of how it's coming along and we'll see what happens okay so let me show you what we got here went and bought a pump it was about fifty dollars I had a hose, hose clamps, some concrete screws, I'm going to screw it into the wall, silicone, drill bit for the screws, and some washers because I'm going to put, I got four of these uh, window sill planters, plastic. So I'm going to see if I can't screw them right to the wall and then use a washer to hold it so it don't strip out. So let's see what this looks like. these up at your local hardware store so looks like it's just a, a little weed guard there Come with no extra nozzles or shutoffs, or I don't see any way to control the flow. So, hopefully, I don't have a fountain. So, I'm just wanting to make a just a little water feature in our garden. So, there's the unboxing. Okay, so I've dug a hole, I buried a tote bucket down to the rim. I'll cover the outside with rocks, the top with rocks. I'm going to have to drill some holes in the top of it to let water go. I'm going to put the pump down in the bottom there. And uh, we will just uh, get to work on this. And I'm not going to show you the whole footage, but uh, there'll be bits and pieces. So it did come with a valve to slow the flow down. I hope that's what it does. Um, so I've, I've made a hole in the top of the bucket. Now I'll put the top down here and get ready to plug it in. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I've got the holes drilled in the top of the deal. I just got to put some rocks on it. Let the hose run through. Got the electric cord ran through. Um, it pumps. I adjusted it to where it's pumping about the way I want it. And now I've got to figure out how I'm going to run the hose up to the top uh, planter. So that's where we're at now. So well, we got the first one up and the washers I got, the hole's too big for the screw so I got to go back to the store and get some more washers. We're going to get some plants and things to try to hide that hose that's running up through there. And uh, there's progress so far. Okay so we're back from the hardware store 
I uh, decided so we get some brown paint, paint the lid so it's not so yellow, paint the uh, hose so it kind of blends in with the wall a little better. We got some plants to kind of hide the hose. We're going to try to put um, something in those planters and be able to put plants on top above the water level. So I think that'll look pretty cool when we get that done. So I'm going to wait for the paint to dry for a little bit and get back at it. So this is what we wound up with. Um, it's not the greatest, but it's not bad. It makes a nice sound out here. We probably need more rocks down around the bottom, kind of hide that bucket. And once the plants get growing, hopefully it'll hide that hose. So that's the water feature. Sounds nice. Makes it nice and peaceful out here on our little garden. So I'd say we're probably mediocre at best. I may need to put some supports in the middle because they're kind of sagging a little bit once you get all the water in there. We had to put rocks in there to shim up the plants. So, but we're happy with it. Okay, so I have a low light setting on my phone. So I'm doing this part with my iPhone. Um, I put some LED string lights above, double them around. We also have other little LED lights around, but those really put out some light. Really make the garden nice. I love the sound. Makes it pretty tranquil. Um, I did have to wire it up because the wires are ran through and under. Um, I'm an old country boy, so I can. I can wire anything, but they're really sagging, so that kind of helps support a little bit. Um, I'm going to get some monkey grass, I think, and put around the, the front of the, try to hide the box a little bit, maybe get one more bag of rocks. We wound up using a lot in here to support. we got some little plastic things I've cut up and uh, keep the plant out of the water. And they wound up having to use a lot of rocks to kind of shim them up. But there it is. Hopefully these plants will grow up and cover these this hose. Um, we did paint it so it looks the same color as the rock. But all in all, it's not bad for around a hundred dollars. Nice and big. I looked on Amazon, a lot of those were uh, Pretty expensive for something pretty small, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. I'll come back and show you the rest of our, our lovely jungle garden roses. Elephant ears. I don't know, God knows what's on here, but. I'm really happy with it. I really think it turned out okay. So I'll take it back, back to the chair. So that was the water feature. Um, wasn't too hard. I did spend around a hundred dollars, or give or take, more with the plants. But the basic water feature itself was not that expensive. Um, we had to get the pump. The pump was about $50. There were several different kinds of pumps. The place I went didn't have a big selection. I probably could have ordered one from Amazon. 
but here lately the things I've been getting from Amazon have taken quite a while to get here so I just thought I'd just run down and get it and have it I really wanted to do it my wife was off one day and that's the day we we both kind of worked on it and uh, the hardest part was probably digging the hole to put the bucket in but it was a good hole I mean the bucket went right in there I mean it wasn't too big I did do a good job on the hole and I'm pretty proud of that so um, there's a few things that uh, I ran across a, a video the other day and a guy was talking about trying to be like water and I'm going to put a link down there. I believe he's a Taoist. Um, he has a lot of good thoughts on different things. I don't know. I'm Personally, I'm a Christian, but I think a lot of the things he says relates to things that are in the Bible. Um, I've got my notes here. I made some notes. It says, Water benefits all things without contention. It gives life to all things and never ask anything in return. Water reflects without distorting. Water adapts to whatever container it's put in. Water always tries to become level. If we could just do that last one right there, just try to stay level. Sometimes storms bring big waves and it's crushing waves, but the water's always wanting to be level whatever cup you put it in it's level I used to use it when I stayed in the trailer at work to I put a glass on the counter and adjust the jacks until that glass till the water was level in the glass because water always stays level and uh, if we could just learn from that right there and just try to keep level especially in these times we live in now I know sometimes it can get frustrating, but build yourself a, a, a water feature and sit out there and listen to the nature and the tranquility, and uh, maybe, maybe it'll help us all out. So be sure and click the like button if you like this video. Subscribe. Click the bell if you want to get notifications of what's next. Um, I'll put my last video up over here. Click the subscribe button on this side. This is Tonio with Tonio's Reviews, and I'll see you next time.